Are you struggling to control water levels on your land and sometimes feel like you're fighting against nature? It can be time consuming and costly and still not provide you with an optimal yield. Wetter farming techniques could provide a more sustainable alternative, making water work for you. Wetter farming works by keeping the water in your soils rather than draining it out, taking you from this to this. Rather than struggling to keep your land dry, you can grow crops better suited to the conditions of your land. If you're currently battling with waterlogged, unprofitable land, declining soil health or excessive costs, wetter farming could be a viable alternative. There are two main benefits of wetter farming. On the one hand, it can be good for business, helping to increase your output and boost land resilience. On the other, wetter farming is also more environmentally friendly, reducing the CO2 emitted from your fields by over 80% in just one year. Wetter land provides unique growing conditions, meaning you might have to rethink not only how you grow, but what you grow. Here are a few examples of what you can use these wetter conditions for. Construction materials, various foods, horticultural growing media, biomass for energy, novel products, carbon farming, summer grazing land for livestock. So where do you start? Raise the water table. To raise your land's water table, you need to keep water in the ground, rather than draining it out. Bunding or ditch blocking is effective here and is particularly good for peat soils. Rain is the cheapest and most natural solution for re-wetting your land, but it's not always reliable. So you might need to consider other sources, such as abstracted water from rivers and streams, groundwater from wells and boreholes, or mains water. Requests for additional water needs may require a permit or consent from the EA and will need to be considered amongst other local demands. Maintain that water table. To maintain a higher water table, you'll need to consider how and where to store water on site, as well as how to move it around your fields. Storage tanks, pond or irrigation reservoirs and pump systems are all methods worth exploring. Remember that new water storage may require consent from the EA. Irrigation channels can be an option for moving water to where it's needed. Wetter farming requires some flexibility. How you manage a higher water table for one crop might be different to how you manage it for another. One option is to maintain a steady water table, particularly suitable for crops such as typha. Another option being investigated is seasonal rewetting, which involves lowering the water table while sowing and harvesting and raising it in between to suit specific crops or over winter when the land is fallow. Wetter farming is another tool in the toolkit for farmers and growers looking to diversify their business and protect their soils. If this sounds like something you'd like to explore, we recommend reaching out to the Environment Agency. They can help you apply for any permits you might need before getting started. You should also contact your local Natural England advisor to learn more about countryside stewardship options or other funding schemes that could support you during the process. Let's find a new way to make the most of your land.